paintball originated with an argument between myself and my best friend, Hayes Knoll. Hayes was a very successful stock trader on the New York Stock Exchange. He believed that the capacity to survive and to do well is an inherent, inborn talent. He would argue he could be a survivor anywhere. I spent my life in the woods hunting and fishing. I argued, on the other hand, that survival is more a function of learning certain behavioral um, tactics to get by and that they are environmentally specific. And I said to Hayes, if you came up to New Hampshire and went out in the woods with me, you wouldn't have a chance. A friend of mine sent me a catalog um, that had in it a pistol and it shot a little ball of paint about this big around and it was used by foresters to mark trees uh, to be cut down and so forth. And I had one of those eureka moments. Two things come together. I called Hayes up and I said, I figured out how we're going to prove this argument one way or another. So I ordered two of these guns and a bunch of the pellets and Hayes came up to my house. We decided we'd test these guns out because as far as we had known, nobody had ever shot a person with them. Hayes shot first and he missed um, and I shot him right in the butt. <laughs> and uh, it hurt. So then what we did, we went in out, out into 40 acres of woods and Hayes went in one end, I went in the other and we hunted each other. Within about 20 minutes, um, I came around a big maple tree and Hayes was sitting on a rock and I walked right up behind him and put the barrel of the gun right on his neck and said, all right, I don't want to shoot you, who wins? <laughs> We had so much fun doing this that we decided we didn't want to just drop it there. That what we would do, we'd invite 10 other people who had demonstrable survival capacity, who had distinguished themselves uh, by succeeding in whatever chosen line of work they'd gone into uh, more than normally. The first official game of paintball was played in June of 1981. The original game required four flag stations, and those flag stations were marked on a topographic map that each competitor was given, along with a gun. I think we gave him 10 pellets, a pair of goggles, a compass, and this map. So that game rewarded stealth, wood skills, strategy. We started up a company called the National Survival Game. It set up franchises. And what we quickly found out was that what people wanted to do was shoot. We had uh, fields all over the country. The idea of running through the woods, competing, uh, and in a way sort of symbolically surviving. Those are all, those go way back into, you know, our genetic development. Ugh! Ugh!